Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the serious strategy game and we're returning to Rule the Waves 2 where we're playing as the US. We are currently in war against the Germans. It's actually the second war and the Germans have weirdly disposed their forces down here into West Africa where they have seven heavy cruisers and into the Caribbean so I'm not too sure what they're doing there uh, but in between episodes I did look around a little bit and I noted that down here we don't have any air bases so I think we should build um, up some capabilities somewhere here in the central part and um, I think the no not the Caribbean sorry Guantanamo Bay should be fine for that so let's build an air base over here in Guantanamo Bay itself and that should be okay uh, of course it will take some time to build that up but well, I think it's going to be okay we do actually have well no guns there but then again we probably don't need them so um, yeah, I think that's fine. We're also designing a couple of ships. We do have most of our ships, including four carriers uh, in the region of Northern Europe. So I'm not too afraid that the Germans are doing something nerfious here over here. They might be trying to do some commerce raiding. Uh, we'll have to see about that a little bit. But um, as long as we are blockading their home base, I think we are going to be fine. So yeah, let's uh, go for the next turn over here. Virgin Islands. Independence has finished her reconstruction, so that's very nice to see. And we are... Yeah, we are getting better heavy AA effectiveness, and that's also very good to see. French are getting some new stuff. Ooh, we are losing a Corvette, and another Corvette, and another Corvette. On the other hand, we are sinking two submarines, so that's nice. As detected and spoken minefield, that's also good to see. Small engagement against Germans, they have a battle cruiser, we have four light cruisers, so let's accept that battle and see what's going to come out of that. Oh, we only have one light cruiser. And it is pretty much midday, so yeah, that's not good. We are probably not going to survive with a single light cruiser against a battleship, so, or a battle cruiser, so now let's try to turn around over here. I very much think that these guys... Well, we should have some air base capabilities. Well, down here, though, in San Francisco. All right. Well, let's simply go too fast over here and try to run away. I do not think that this is a fight that we want to take with a single light cruiser. If we had more than one light cruiser, I'd be more willing to take this. But with only a single ship against a battle cruiser. Ooh. Ooh, there's some... Yeah, we might torpedo them if the weather is very bad, but... You know what, I'm not convinced that this is the way to go. So yeah, let's simply go as fast as possible over here. And I think that's going to be alright. What? What? The clear water is avoiding torpedoes? Sorry, but that doesn't make any sense to me. They only had a battle cruise over here. They don't even have... Heavy AA capability, heavy air capabilities. And I don't see any aircraft. This is really weird. Well, now it's night. Now it's night, and let's actually check how many torpedo tubes have we. We have got a couple, so... You know what, let's turn around and see what we're going to get. Eh, let's end this. Yeah, so they had a battle cruiser. There's no, no chance uh, that we would have won that, so... Yeah, I'm fairly happy with leaving that. So there's no victory point over there. But we should be getting some victory points for blockading them. So that as well is very nice. Um, let's actually briefly check all of our guys. They all seem to be doing pretty fine. Uh, we do have these two Lexingtons. Um, where are the Germans now? They mostly withdrew to Northern Europe, I think. And some guys are down here in in other areas, basically. We could try to hunt down their stuff. Specifically, their heavy cruisers, I think they are, co com they are on com commerce raiding activities. Also, these battle cruisers, I would very much like to get those. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to take two of our battle cruisers. Um, I think the Germans don't have too much other stuff. One battleship, one battle cruiser. We have five battleships in the region, so yeah, I think that's going to be alright. Yeah, so let's move both of our battle cruisers to the Caribbean first. And then from then on, we will maybe send them to the west coast. What? Oh, no, 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 sorry. 
you're the wrong one. You guys, both of you should be moving towards the Caribbean. Right, there we go. One and two. Oh, wait a minute, we can actually... Why is it always jumping like that? Okay, so let's take these two uh, light cruisers, uh, light carriers. Why do I always say cruisers? I don't know. Right, uh, let's take these two guys and then what we probably can take is a couple of these. Well, we do need some protection. So we do need some light cruisers or destroyers. We have a lot of destroyers in Northern Europe. Well, on the other hand, maybe some light cruisers. Raleigh class. We don't have that much else. Okay, yeah. let's send these guys towards the Caribbean as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring these guys from the west coast down there as well. They're not the most modern guys, but you know what, I think it's going to be fine. And in terms of destroyers, we don't have... Well, we have a lot of these flusser classes, a lot of these hull classes, but they're all in Southeast Asia. Are they doing anything decent in Southeast Asia? Well, they're blocking the um, Japanese to some degree. Yeah, I think it's going to be all right. So, yeah, so let's concentrate our forces over here a little bit, and that should be good. Now, we do have the Yorktown design, which is going to finish up very soon. Okay, some performance data of the German torpedo bomber. Specifically, the combat radius is very interesting to me. 270 miles, that's quite a bit. Clinton will spend some time in dry dock. That's all right. Battleship engagement. Large. Yes, of course we're going to accept that. We have five battleships. They don't have any. I don't think they have a battleship. Have we more than one ship? Yeah, we do. Have, okay, so we have two ships. The Tunis and the Starbanger. So both of these are, I think, colonial cruisers that we've got. Uh, but that being said, they still carry a lot of torpedoes so yeah I'm fine with this and it's very it's just just after dawn yeah it's actually night so yeah this is our vision range we can't forget about the gun range for now uh, let's take a five minute turn over here I think we should be seeing them normally these types of scenarios start with you being in contact we can't control them oh yeah Radar contact. Okay, so this is something new. This is the first time that we're seeing radar contact, and that's extremely interesting. So yeah, that's probably their battle cruiser. Let's see whether we can get over there. Oh, we're we are running at 30 knots. Interesting. They're trying to run away, apparently. Or they are on a search pattern. I didn't know. Is the AI cheating? They might have radar contacts as well, though. So, yeah, I mean, these are light cruisers, so they are not necessarily... Uh, no, don't run many hours. I just want to get closer to them. Yeah, very soon we're going to get in visual range, and then all hell is going to break loose. Um, I still hope that with our torpedo tubes we should be able to deal some significant damage over there. It's a risk that we are running over here. Okay, so now we've got visual ident... Well, we've, we've sighted them. We don't have identification yet. Ooh, two ships. Well, two ships is all of a sudden not that great. You're, you're shooting at them. That's interesting to see. Yeah, but the Starwanger is being all obliterated. Just the rear turret is immediately destroyed. Uh, we should be able to see what kind of caliber they have. 16 inch hit, yeah. Okay, you know what? Um, let's turn together. Let's turn away from over here. More hits on the Starwanger. With, oh, this is just electrical power destroyed. Six heavy hits. Electrical power. And flooding, there's a lot of... Oh my god. Yeah, okay, you were really not built for this. More hits being suffered from these guys. Um, can you actually try to run away a little bit more like that? 
Uh, we probably have a lot of speed issues over here. Okay, let's take the Tunis and cover the retreat of the Starbanger. Unidentified ship, yep. Okay, come on. Lose, lose your torpedoes at them. I know you've got torpedoes. Oh my, oh my. Okay, um, yeah, we don't know what type of target there is. I think that's why they are not firing their torpedoes, basically. Stalwang is reattached. Um, no, I don't want you to re. Damn it. Come on. I know you can fire torpedoes. We can't even see the torpedo range. This is the torpedo range. Sighting range, gun range, torpedo range. You're well within torpedo range. You just need to launch them. And you, can you sort of go in a different direction here? You'll soon need to slow down otherwise. Okay, now Tunis is being hit, god damn it, into the engine room as well. Just lose torpedoes, please, please, please. Yeah, one of your turrets has already been destroyed. And that's the starboard side. But you're facing port, so you should still be able to launch, yeah. Can we actually get this a little bit larger? No. Oh yeah, you have launched torpedoes. Okay, let's turn around. Starbanger, you're gonna go to that direction. Oh, damn it, that was so close. And Tunis is, is a goner. Yeah, that battle cruiser. Oh, but look at that! Three torpedoes being launched at the battle, and none of them hit. Really? Oh god, damn it! And Starvang is probably going to sink as well. This is not a good battle. I should have rejected that. I knew they were here. I should have rejected this battle. All right, let's go to Ultra. And let's continue the time over here. No, Starbung, what are you doing? You need to get away. You're probably going to sink as well. Yeah, you just... Tunis has sunk. Okay, let's try to... Can I get you to away from AI control? Get over there. Thank you. They're trying to follow us. Let's try to break contact. Let's dial down on the speed over here so that at least the Starbunger might survive. Okay, your flooding is okay. So yeah, let's get it down to San Francisco. Maybe just how far is daylight away? Very, very far. Okay, so our air cover is not going to help us out. So yeah, we lost a ship over here. That is very, very unfortunate. But at least we're going to get Starbanger into port. But yeah, just look at all, all of the devastation being done to it. Two turrets out of... You can barely see the green bar. Yeah, so they had a destroyer and a battlecruiser. At least the battlecruisers did suffer light damage. Yeah. But... A major enemy victory. Yorktown is ready for construction. Okay. Um, yeah. You know what? Let's let's build it. Of course, we're going to take the Yorktown, the name Yorktown. That's fine. We do have a lot more money, so I think we can build another one of them. So, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Let's... Um, so just a name over here, Ranger. I didn't like Ranger. Enterprise, Wasp. Can't we go with battle names? Okay, let's go for Enterprise. That's fine. Yeah, so we're building two of these. Uh, they're going to take two years to build. We are losing some money in between, but all in all, we are fine. Some damage over here to some of these ships. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the map. So the Germans are in the Caribbean in some force. With a battleship, a heavy cruiser, a carrier. We've got two battle cru cruisers, three light cruisers. Yeah, we need more light ships over there. Let's take the guys from the east coast. 
the battery classes. I mean, yes, they are. They do have cramped accommodation, but I think that's going to be all right because we do, in fact, have some capacity in the Caribbean as well. Yeah, so hopefully that's going to be all right. Airbase in Guantanamo Bay is ready, so that's nice. Uh, we should not get them off lightly. Yes, okay, that's very nice. Gradual damage control improvement, okay. Uh, pff, naval gun research, I don't quite care about that. Enemy submarine damage, I would like. Ooh, Raleigh has been sunk. We are losing a lot of light cruisers over here. Small engagement on the west coast again. Uh, we don't have any ships over here. Yeah, so they are gaining points. Hmm. Okay, apparently they have withdrawn to the west coast, uh, to the east coast. And that's all right. Then we are going to take all of our guys from the Caribbean. Let's send all of that. You, all of you. Yeah, including all of these. Yeah, 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 that's fine. All of you are going to move towards the east coast. Thank you. Fine, uh, let's resort by this. No damage of any kind. Just a little spec on my monitor, actually. That's okay. Yeah, some of these guys are now considered obsolete. Why are you not moving? Ah, okay, because you can't. You've suffered some damage. That's all right. Yeah, we'll need to look at new light cruisers um, after the war is over. We've lost two now. Newfoundland, really? Harsh was. No, 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 no. Um, I forgot about that. Coastal raid. Ah. I'm. I'm not sure we should take coastal raids. Battle size medium. The issue with coastal raids is. We've suffered so much. F We've suffered so badly against their force. Okay, let's let's try to do it better this time, um, and let's try to keep our forces very far away from from the enemy. Okay, so what have we got? We've got two carriers, the Saratoga and the Langley down there. We've got two battleships and some. Light ships, okay. You're gonna scout, you can be AI controlled. I don't care about that that much. You guys down here, um, hmm, you're AI controlled. Interesting, right? Yeah, that's a lot of coastal area. And what's this? Is that a target? I don't think so. What's our what's actually our objective? Destroy one bombardment target, okay? So it is. Well, then. Okay, let's set up our air units. Okay, so apparently you think the enemy is somewhat in the north. Um, I think we can dial down a little bit on this. And that's okay. Yeah, and we definitely want the maximum of combat air patrol that we can. And in fact, we are going to keep, I think, somewhat to the west of Goatland. Well, as far as possible at least. Okay, speed maximum of 20 knots. That's all right. And then let's look at our strike groups. Not on the, wait a minute, on the carrier division, of course. Okay, so we've got a beta bombers, we've got dive bombers. Um, that's all right. So let's take the dive bombers on the so Toga and the Langley. So that's seven and eight aircraft. Your mission is going to be ground strike. Your mission is going to be ground strike. Your weapon loadout is going to be... Um, let's look at the aircraft data actually over here. So that's the Boeing Air Cobra. You have a maximum range heavy of 160. So looking from here to over here, that's what the distance is. Yeah, that should, should work out. So yeah, let's take a look at that again. Okay, so at least that worked out, okay. And your loadout can be heavy, heavy, and that's all right.
is that installation 10? Location. Um, does it give me the location anywhere? Yeah. 5.8. Five, eight, five, eight, five, five. Yeah, that looks good. And east? Yeah. So yeah, it does seem to convert to that location. So range is also okay. So yeah, let's actually take both of these guys. Uh, let's ask for a coordinated strike. It's going to take seven more minutes. But you know what? I think that's fine. And yeah, let's immediately conduct a strike over here. I think that's fine. So 15 aircraft are going to try to find the enemy over there. And then I would actually like these 19 aircraft and these 17 aircraft to, you know, on naval strike with torpedoes, I want you to ready a strike. Yeah, good. All right. Uh, we don't see any reports yet, so that should be okay. Yeah, and I definitely want to keep a little bit close towards the coast over here because I'm very, very afraid uh, that we are going to come under enormous amounts of attack. What are you guys doing? Please don't be stupid. Okay, you're trying to stay somewhat left behind me, I think. Or in, in between. You're trying to take the... Well, okay, so I think the AI is trying to put ourselves or put the carrier... Uh, behind sort of the battleships from the target. But I'm not sure that's the best idea. All of our scouts are sending out, so that's nice to see. Let's uh, go ahead with the timing here a little bit. So yeah, these little blimps, these little red blimps are potentially our recon aircraft. Yeah, there we go. That's lovely to see. That seems to be a more substantial strike. Yeah, so there we are, 15 aircrafts on the way to hopefully hopefully strike that target and be done with it and I would really really love to control you can you actually be a core part of this would you then come a little bit closer I'd very much appreciate if you came closer we do have some combat air patrol over here just six aircraft though it's basically nothing. If the Germans do come, we are in big trouble. Okay, so here we are. Report of some destroyers. On an eastern course. East by northeast. Mm -hmm. So probably going to Riga. Okay, let's take a strike. Let's take... Oh, there's... You are ready. You are unready. And you are ready, ready. Okay, so let's take these 17 aircraft here. And target this these guys. We might actually want to ask you to come over here, sort of. And launch that strike. And then the other guys on the Saratoga here, these guys, uh, they should be readied. That does increase the risks because if the uh, if the German aircrafts do find our carriers and do uh, bombard them while we have ready aircraft with all of the fuel and all of the bombs and all of the torpedoes laying around, that might cause some disaster. Uh, but on the other hand, it's going to decrease our strike times considerably or our preparation times. Also, we do have a lot of carrier combat air patrol over here, so it would be very nice to actually see some success from that. Right, yeah, and I think you are trying to close into the carrier, uh, con to the battleship, so that's... Not Ooh, look at that, all of these... All of these notifications that we are getting from all of these ships. You're on a, on a northern course there, okay. So yeah, what? still, I'm going to send out more strike craft. You are ready. 19 strike craft. Let's ask you to come somewhere over here and launch that strike. 
And you know what? If the others are ready, you guys might prepare yourselves as well. Okay, fine. Let's see. Um, we have launched our... Okay, yeah. So there they are, our, our dive bombers. Trying to strike that target. Have we launched our torpedoes? Torpedo bombers yet? I think there they are. 17. I don't think we have sent anyone out yet. They seem to be going over here towards the northern piece. Did I not properly... No, no, no. They're going over here. Trying to take... I don't think they are just drawers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was this? Okay, so, dive bombers. Attack. Light bomb pit, light bomb pit. Okay, so... There are four light bomb pits. Is that enough to destroy a target? And another one. Well, I don't know. It's a little bit unfortunate. More dive bombing, no hits this time. Okay, so we've scored five hits on these guys. I'm really not sure whether that's going to be sufficient. There's another strike. There's one of our strikes coming in with our torpedo bombers. Air combat. Recon squadron. Medium bombers. We've shot down one of these guys, so that's nice. I think that might mean they are, we, that we're not being spotted over here, but I'm not sure. Another strike taking off and I think going towards this direction. Yeah, it's probably these guys. Some guys over there. And our torpedo bombers are returning over here. 70 Dauntless B are approaching enemy ships. So that must be over here, I think, these guys. 17, 17 torpedo bombers is not nothing. It's a strike force. But they're engaging destroyers. That's a little bit pointless. Okay, another recon squadron shot down. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> and now we're now we're engaging corvettes. Okay, that's a little bit hilarious. Okay, we've not destroyed this yet. There are our dive bombers coming back in. Nice to see. There's another report, is there? Which one, though? No, I think that's... No, 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 it must be one of these over here. It's just destroyers here. There, our squadron is coming back. There's our other squadron trying to find their aircraft, uh, their, their shipping. Okay, I think we have not landed yet our dive bombers. Or, or have we? No. We should see that over here, shouldn't we? Yeah, but this list is always so long. Recon, 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 ground strike. You're landing. Okay, so soon you'll be ready again. Or soon you'll be ready to be made ready. Will you find anyone? You're coming back as well. Oh, someone did crash land. That's unfortunate. Right, so dive bomber, dive bomber. Dive bomber, dive bomber. You're six, uh, you're seven. Okay, so yeah. Only 13 aircraft ready. You're heavy, you're heavy. Okay, that's all right. You're supposed to strike the installation. And we are going to ask for a coordinated strike, and we are going to launch that strike right away. Ooh, you'll be landing at dusk. How's that dusk? Okay, let's go for an uncoordinated strike. 
How is that Dusk? Dusk is very soon. Okay, and then we're not gonna do that. Then what we're gonna do is take our battle chips and we're gonna make a run for it. Wait a minute, has it gone? Is it gone? I think it was over here, wasn't it? Okay, battle chips are gonna go in. Max speed and the skies here are not gonna be poor anymore. You're going to be independent, in fact. Okay, battleships are going in as fast as possible. You can see these aircraft here are doing a search pattern. And they are now approaching someone. Not sure what it is. Hopefully a battlecruiser. But that might very well be a misreport. They are saying they are attacking a destroyer. And we hit something. Apparently a battleship? I'm not sure whether we should believe that. Do I really want to move in with all of my forces over there? If it's night. I don't want to risk my battleships at night, do I? Okay, let's actually go north. I think any, anything else would be a horrendous decision. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to be stupid over here. We have put a torpedo into one of their ships. That's nice. Um, what are you doing? Why, why are you coming closer towards that? Okay, now you're running north. I think you might have just um, spotted some of your aircraft by going into the wind. But that should really be it. Why are you running east? Weird. If I tell you to be a core part of this, you're trying to run away in, in some other direction. Okay. Um, in 20 knots will be fine. Uh, maybe that was it. Weather limits air operations. Yes, we are aware. Right, and we should actually rebalance these things over here and actually go a little bit more towards the south because I think that's where they'll most likely be. gonna come in during the next day these orders you can basically give these orders once a day I know the um, timing here is a little bit far but so and the target was over here so we should try to get a distance that's n not larger than 160 miles weather limits air operations yeah I know can we go to ultra please Unfortunate that I cannot directly control. Ooh, what was that? Directly control the uh, carrier fleet. Not sure whether the battle is going to last until the morning. It would be very nice to specifically to attack the shipping down here again. Well, not so much. Don't don't really care about the uh, land objective there. I'm going to keep between these two islands over here, close to Sweden. Remember, Norway is ours, but I do not think they will support us a lot. Right. We might get another shot of this during the morning. So we should actually... Oh yeah, okay. The weather should cl clear up a little bit as well, though. Okay. Right, so we, we've sunk a Corvette, really, really. Let's look at that. So, how has this been sunk? You've got a torpedo hit. That's, that's funny. Just how can you torpedo a Corvette? Yeah, so they had a battlecruiser in the area, but it was too, wasn't too serious. But I, yeah, I think it was better to keep away from the enemy as, as much as possible. 
Just look at the air details, yeah. They do have a lot of dive bombers and torpedo bombers. Interesting to see that they're using more dive bombers, apparently. Side enemy. Yeah, but you know what? It's fine. Marginal victory for Germany. Bonus for four surviving merchants. Yeah. Yeah, just look at all of their forces down here. I mean, why did we attack the Corvettes? I mean, this is a decent place to, for them to be patrolling. That does make sense. I would have preferred to attack some merchantmen. Moltke, it seems, is here. Some torpedo boats. Some corvettes. Yeah, it would be very difficult to find a transport ship. And can we actually see something about the damage of installation 10? Damage 100%. Looks like one more hit would have done it. Leaks in aging structure increases flooding. Okay, that's funny. Okay, fine. Nearly, nearly though. Let's leave this scenario here. Marginal victory. Failure of the enemy has... That's, that's harsh. Okay, let's look at our air groups. Right, so that's the Saratoga and the Langley. You have one squadron of dive bombers each. Shoot, we maybe up the game there a little bit. Yeah, so I think what we should potentially do then is change the number over here of these guys to just four. And then we can increase the number of dive bombers by eight. So 18, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so that might give us, in the next battle, that might give us a little bit more punch. And down here we do have 20 dive bombers and 39 dive bombers respectively. So yeah, I think that's good. We're losing some money, but all in all we seem to be doing fine. So yeah, uh, I think this is a good place to put in a cut. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And see you guys next time. Do let me know what you thought of that battle, whether we should maybe improve a little bit on our tactics. But all in all, I think it's better to keep our distance and, and just try to engage them that way. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time.